Hey, how you doing guys? Zerai here. So, finally, I have actually played Breath of the Wild. Yes, I have uh, picked up the Nintendo Switch and uh, while I was away on a trip, I decided to pick up Nintendo Switch with me and also just one copy, the Breath of the Wild. And uh, while away for about a week or a little bit more than that, uh, I still did not yet even finish. But currently as of this recording of the video, yes, I did finish it, just so you know. Basically, I came back and I finished it off after. That's what I'm trying to refer to. Uh, so basically, I have a knowledge and understanding why so many people gave so much praiseworthiness towards this game. And you know what? I can completely understand where they're coming from. Few top, few things I definitely have some kind of gripes with the game, but uh, they're not really that major as well in my personal opinion. Like if I could give you a little bit of a you know, nitpicking things, it's just that the way the story, the quest line, the main quest line is organized is a little bit awkward. Let me explain. Don't get me don't get me wrong. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just my personal opinion on this on this thing. <laughs> just that basically you are set out to do a, an adventure you go out there you explore you get to see new things if we do follow the main quest we continue on to and uh, finish up with the quests and go on from one point to another and you know simple thing right but then after you get this on a stuck up page stuck up page basically gets stuck right what you will have to do is pretty much continue the only way for you to progress continue the story is basically hunting and um retrieving i should even say these uh, beasts and there are four currently currently but still basically what i'm trying to say when you look at the objective of your main quest line that you're required to do it seems so simple until you actually start doing them holy shit basically guys if you are not too aware what i'm talking about i have uh, made a bit of a review just a little bit of review i've written a script um, on my community tab page on my youtube channel check it out if you want to but that time i still did not yet even finish the game in fact i didn't even play the first heaven uh you know heaven beast uh, at least not as of yet that moment but now when i've experienced them oh they this game with the puzzles especially with the puzzles wow it's genius it's seriously, it's by far the best puzzle game you can ever experience, in my personal opinion, and all of the games that I have played. Now, I'm sure there are better games out there with better, more detailed puzzles elements, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about specifically what I have played. But my experience of what I played in here, in the Breath of the Wild, I was e extremely surprised with the elements of the puzzles likes in this game is simply phenomenal. This game is not easy as well. There's no difficulty choices that you can go for as well. I definitely need to mention that. Basically, uh, you can go for, you know, just simply set up the game that said you go you are in the world. Uh, there are quite minimal of these cutscenes as well, like, you know, with the storyline and how they want to progress with the story, how they want to progress and show you this, you know, the quests and what you're achieving to do. Um, there's not much of voice acting either. May, that may consider it to be on a low point for some. Personally, for me, I really don't mind that. If I would want to have an ex excellent storyline of a game, I think it would be one of those, actually any one of the PlayStation exclusive games if you want to do so. And down there, they got fantastic stories and as well the gameplay too. I want to say that this game, as the combat, uh, combat elements are up to par, in my personal opinion, it's so heavily focused. It's like a Red Dead Redemption 2 combat, the combat of The Witcher 3, combat like that, the combat of the Skyrim as well. Like, I'm, t I'm not talking about specifically the low points and the, you know, the bad points in those games. God, no. For example, let me give you. Some people may consider that the combat from The Witcher 3 is a little bit of lackluster. Some people consider that. I personally do not. Red Dead Redemption 2, a lot of people say the controls are garbage. I agree that they have shit controls and trying to shoot your weaponry. And but everything else they strives to do and how complicated it can be on a first go. You have to learn these things. Zelda, 
this game Breath of the Wild is no different. But I definitely want to say a few other things. I had some difficulty getting adjusted towards the button layout. Holy god, I hate this shit. Basically, what you have to do, if you hold your PlayStation 4 controller as an example, X button is to confirm, X button is to jump, usually in these sort of games are. I understand I'm playing Nintendo in this category. For me, as an example, right, uh, if I won't want to continue running into the world, you know, I have to hold an X button or I have to hold a triangle, you know, there's an option you can go, you can change it in the settings. So what I'm trying to say, because this is Nintendo for you to confirm anything that you wish, even just simply starting up the you know the console itself, right? You need to per se, well, it's not really a circle, but it's PlayStation will be as a circle to continue. But it's actually an A button on the uh, Nintendo Switch, so it's so awkward. You have to press the, on the right side button, the right side button for you to confirm something. That's irritating itself personally for me. And if you want to backtrack, it's the B button. But for a PlayStation, it will be the X button. So it's just, it got my mind cluttered with this shit. And I had so many difficulties. Of, I kept on pushing the wrong button too many goddamn times. If this would have been on the PlayStation, this Breath of the Wild, or on the Xbox PC is an example as well. Wow, this game would have been simply a masterpiece. There are some issues in this front, for example, uh, puppets, right? Not, not necessarily what I'm try trying to say, basically, when you're tr uh, running through the world, right, I kept on noticing a few things. From the far distances, you cannot see pretty much anything except the mountains, the hills, the beauty of the layout. But you don't see any of the enemies, you don't really see anything like that. And um, basically until I get much closer, if I run towards there or I use a glider, I get to see those enemies. Right on the PlayStation, you really would not have that kind of an issue, as at least I don't believe you would. The game is beautiful on Nintendo Switch. I'm very surprised also that this game runs so damn fluently. I rarely, if ever, had any of these uh, FPS dropouts. I'm quite, in I'm amazed how great this game runs. At the end, basically, when I have mentioned already, uh, almost at the beginning of this commentary, remember when I said that you get stuck on a one po moment, and the only thing you can do is face off the four beasts. And these beasts are very, very, very difficult, in my personal opinion. Opinion, of course. You need to go through the puzzles, you need to face off the guardians. Guardians, especially with their legs, you know, attached, not the ones in the beast area, they are very difficult. And, uh, but in the beast area, they're relative, ah, they are very easy, in my personal opinion. It's like two, three hits with a heavy sword and they're done. It's not that hard. But still, the puzzle is where it's all at, and those are quite challenging, it can be as well. Very complicated, and I love it. Uh, the combat is in itself as well, I uh, I kind of hate the way you have to lock on on the target by pressing, uh, I'm actually looking at the controller as well, the, what's this, a ZL button? What a weird name, isn't it? ZL, it's basic, basically the uh, L2 button on the PlayStation 4, if you think about it like that. So you has how you lock on the air. On the enemies. Personally, I would rather have like an R R three button, basically, you know, by pressing the uh, the button, right, the right button, the layout, the uh, the trigger, <laughs> not the trigger, but whatever. Basically, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> the game is very good in its ways. Like, for example, the crafting mecha mechanisms in here as well. I'm very shocked to see that this game has so much deep. Uh, system in this game it's incredible I'm very shocked to see because like let me let me tell you something when Breath of the Wild came out at first I think it was about two three years ago at this point I really didn't think of it much I have noticed quite too many damn reviews saying like this is a masterpiece game 10 out of 10 some people give 9 out of 10 some people go like even crazier uh, if they can of course basically the game definitely is worth all those scores but i had some issues with this game for example for me to get used to it now that's my fault but also this is my review i just want to say 
The other thing as well, I kinda do not like the way you are uh, basically have to progress and uh, level up. The only way of doing it so is by going through the trials. If you guys know them, they also can be a bit of a uh, fast traveling as well. Oh, talk about fast traveling, you need to be climbing these uh, towers. <laughs> but you know what's the good part about these towers? They're not just simply climbing. It, the towers themselves are not that different compared to any one of them. But what's around the tower, that's what makes it quite interesting. Few towers are simple as, uh, as, simple as hell. But there are a few other uh, towers that are very difficult to climb because the guardians could be sh could shoot you down, or could be enemies could be running up there. I, I don't know what they do. They kind of hover, I guess, and they can hit you. And obviously, if they they can knock you down, obviously. But the guard the towers are done right in the Breath of the Wild compared to what Ubisoft uh, games try to do anyway. And now, since I have touched on touched on already trials. Trials are basically very short of the puzzle likes that you can go into little dungeons, right? But they're not always puzzles. You can be also facing off one of the guardians. And uh, those guardians, I absolutely love fighting. They're very difficult and you need to literally learn what you do. If you learn off the mechanics and how they go fighting about, it's never really the game's fault of you dying. It's only because of your fault and your issue of not memorizing what is the uh, fighting pattern that they have. This kind of reminds me of the Dark Souls elements and the boss fights in here as well. I'm quite shocked to say this, but I love these sort of things as well. And I'm so glad the way I got to experience all of this. Basically, the issue with my gripe I, want, I wanted to touch on, these trials are the problem, believe it or not. Not the trials themselves and what they offer. Those things are fantastic. I love them. But what the only way for you to progress and get stronger is by uh, completing these trials. Uh, basically, you know, you complete four trials and then you can actually have a choice of what you want to upgrade. You see those health bars on the left uh, top corner? Basically, the hearts, right? These hearts, they can be increased. If you complete four trials, you can increase just one heart if you want to. Or you can increase your stamina bar just by a bit. And uh, you can guess, you can get up to, I believe it was 20 hearts or something like that. And similar thing with the uh, stamina bars as well, 20 of these. But obviously, uh, 20 multiplied by 4, you need to do like 80 trials. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't like that. It's, it's In some cases, it can be repetitive, but it's also very difficult to say repetitive because every time when you adventure through, get to the other trials, and you do, by the way, you do not know when where is that trials. The only indication that you have is a beeping thing. I think it was on the bottom right corner anyway, that indicates where is the uh, trials next area zone going to be at. And basically, so, you know, like a hot potato, not really a hot potato, but basically you're getting warmer, you're getting closer, you're closer, 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 and then you find it eventually. They are bridly, bridly. They're, uh, they're very bright uh, light they have, a br bright red light actually. Now, if you complete them, then it's going to be turning into a blue color. It signifies as basically you have achieved the, um, you know, the trials in this area. And I love that. Basically, uh, you know, they can be also uh, of a you know, fast traveling point as well. And anytime you try to find these trials, there's always going to be different environments that you need to go through. There's going to be extremely difficult areas, environments, right? I just mentioned. One could be very snowy. You could be dying over time. This is why you need to have these potions. Yes, I know they're called different. I'm just going to call them potions. And uh, basically, a uh, you know, uh, heat resistance they can be as well. They can be frozen resistance and stuff like you know, snow resistance, ice resistance, or something you know, cold resistance. Uh, there's also uh, you know, just simple heat. There's simple fire resistance. There's lightning resistance. There's shock resistance. I believe so as well. There's so many of these and and like elements it's so the game is bloody deep as hell i never even expected it to be so i'm very shocked to see this like that's why i mentioned this is a category up to the witcher standards crafting is no different as well it's up to the witcher standards as well like red Dead redemption 2 with the crafting is not exactly as fleshed out as the witcher 3 or this game the breath of the wild but there are different elements that you can do as well that you can you know pull off here as well for example you can make your own fire camp if you wish uh, put some firewood, you know, just simply you know, put wood, uh, put some uh, coal, I believe it was, you make sure you use an iron, iron sword, hit, 
the iron sword and uh, sparks come out and you start the fire on beside the wood like it's genius like little things like that you never really would have known that you can pull off uh, okay so basically my thing, my gripe, my god, I'm trying to get this a third time now. Basically, getting through these trials, you need to do pretty much 20 trials, even crazier, like up to 80 trials if you want to complete 100% this game. And uh, obviously, it's up to you. This is your choice if you want to do so. But if you want to go up to these heavens, uh, heaven beasts, right, they are difficult, obviously. Now, the thing is, you can enter them if you want to, but it's going to be extremely tough. So this is why kind of the game asks you to make sure that you can explore everything and uh, get stronger in the process so you will be having a, somewhat of an easier time to be facing off these Heaven's Beasts. Mind you, I'm not talking about exactly that the Guardians are difficult. Like I already mentioned, Guardians are easy in the Heaven's Beast. Puzzles are difficult, but you don't really really require like a stamina or a, a he like extra health or anything like that. What comes after, that's what kind of makes it quite difficult. Yes, you will be facing up bosses and they are challenging. Mind you, I died quite a countless times to those bosses. And mind you, each category, each every boss, I should probably phrase that and say, they are different it's not like they have a repeating patterns and they are all different and they have all all of the different uh, elements as well how they are uh, taken into the uniqueness into themselves well I think I lushed all over this damn game I'm extremely surprised this game is so damn so refined so oh, wow I'm regretting the way I didn't play this game earlier I'm really am regretting that now, if this game would have been again on a PlayStation 4, I think this would have been one of my favorite games easily. Now, don't get me wrong, the game is already is my one of my favorite games. I do know that part two for this game is going to be coming out as well. Uh, pff, day one, day one, easy, 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 easy. I'm definitely going to get it. And man, as well, I already know that The Witcher 3 is, is, I think, has been released already. I can't remember, but basically on the Nintendo Switch as well. I do know that The Outer Worlds will be coming out, even though it was delayed recently. And uh, wow, the game, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked how great this game is. I never expected it, expected it to be like this. Like initially, I thought it was just like one of those games, just like more linear approach. I do, I did know it was an open world game, but still, I never knew it was, it was going to be this, this deep. And mind you, I'm still, I'm sure, I'm still missing few things that I never mentioned in this commentary. Uh, and I definitely did miss few things. There's so many things that it's, it's insane. I'm genuinely impressed with this game and uh, I'm very very glad the way I played it and um, I'm not even regretting it by bit for real now if I would have to give it a score I'll give it like a 9 out of 10 like if I would go higher I would but you know if if I had to compromise if I had to give a go with the IGN route I would go like IGN route <laughs> I would go like 9.5 9.6 out of 10 Easy. I already mentioned a few my gripes with this game. Again, they're a little bit more closer to nitpicking than anything. and uh, But that's just my opinion, guys. I, I understand if you may think this game's a masterpiece game. All right to you. I completely understand where you're coming from. The game is fucking amazing. And I, wow. I'm seriously, genuinely shocked how great this game ended up being. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, then I think I'm going to let it go now. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all later. Have an awesome day. And as always, have a good one.